Charades with Doom Kitty. Okay, it's a movie. Three words. Bridges of Gloomsville. Gloomsville Cop Academy. Gloomsville Ghouls 5. Lynn, stop yelling out every single movie you've ever seen. Isn't that the point? I know. It's a vampire movie. Oh, uh, the Gloomsville Vampire. Vampires from Mars. No, oh, oh really scary vampires. Right, like your guesses were any better. I've got it! There's a giant, drooling monster standing right behind us. I haven't seen that movie. <gasps> That's because it isn't a movie. Wait, is it my turn next to yours? to rise makes a crow healthy, wealthy, and, need I say, wise. <clears throat> now let's see. No. Mm -mm. Don't think so. Aha! Now to finish off with a few stretches. Oh no! No, oh, my leg! Oh, the agony! The sheer torture! Ah, the donut! Oh! Ruby! Oh, Ruby! <coughs> Almost there. Just a smidge more. Got it! Mmm. <laughs> Quite delicious. It was just lucky that I was able to swoop in with nearly a moment to spare and pull that adorable little girl from the clutches of that runaway steam locomotive. <gasps> really? really? No. In this case, it involved some overzealous stretching on my part, but one must stay limber in case one does encounter a runaway steam locomotive. <laughs> You're still a hero in my eyes, Poe. If there is anything you need, Poe, just let us know, huh? Yeah, we're here to wait on you claw and foot. That is the very least we can do for a hero. Oh, thank you all. But I do not want to be a burden. Just go about your day as usual and leave me to fend for myself. In fact, I insist. Okay. okay. Uh, see you. Oh. Hello. Anyone? Anyone? Half for me, and half for Squig. 
No, oh, alas. It shall be many moons before I can fly again. Oh, 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 the bane. Perhaps a nice hot cup of tea would ease my suffering? Sure thing. One nice hot cup of tea coming up. Oh, oh, oh. I do hate to be a bother, but in my dire condition... I'll need that tea hot, but not too hot, with just a squeeze of lemon and two and a half lumps, all right? Yeah, anything for a hero. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, but would you mind terribly turning down that infernal racket? Oh, the pain has now moved to my neck. Sure thing, we'll be quiet. Quieter. Just a tad more. Perfect! I had no idea you two gents were so talented. It's nice of you to make lunch for Poe. These masterpieces proof! <laughs> I must be related to the great French chef, Pierre La Bière. Oh. I fear the pangs of hunger shall be my final undoing. Here you go, Poe. Oh, thank you. Oh. No pickles? Oh, oh ça pour les bébêtes. Okay, we'll make you some soup. A master chef descendant from master chefs from the Cordon Bleu does not make soup. But I like soup. I hate to be a bother, dearest Ruby, but your knitting needles are making my elbow hurt. Clack, clack, clack. Could you please use some softer needles? Oh, I'm sorry. Seems like you just need some peace and quiet. I wish I knew what to do for you. I have the perfect solution. You, you do? do? Ah! Easy, easy. Well, watch the arm. Oh, with the leg. Where are you taking me, anyway? <laughs> Voila! A room with a view. Yeah? Isn't it nice of Skullboy to give up his digs for you? You'll get so much rest and relaxation up here that you'll be back to the old Poe in no time. Yes, but... Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! Oh! You can use my telescope if you like. It's amazing what you can see up there. All right. Thank you. And there's a bell that goes right into the kitchen. So anything you need, just ring. But not too much. <laughs> yes! Ha ha ha! Like this? <laughs> yes, just like that. Do you think you'll be okay? Me? <laughs> of course. I can keep a proper eye on Gloomsville from up here. Great! Remember, ring if you need me. Oh, I'm fully capable of taking care of myself, Ruby. No worries. There's nothing out there to see. I can see a fire-breathing dragon, two knights jousting, and a one-eyed scorpion. Clouds don't count. Come on, Poe. Give it a chance. I guarantee it'll cheer you up. Oh, there's nothing to see but endless fields. <sighs> Wait a minute. I've never noticed that glass house before. Hey, there's a moving van parked outside. You know what that means. The new neighbors could not afford a luxury vehicle? No, silly. It means I've got a welcome wagon to organize. Oh, yeah! Cake! Guys, if you were the ones moving in, you'd get a cake, too. Ruby wants us to move in? The garage was getting pretty cramped. Let's get her things. Killer! Coming through. Whoa. See you soon, roomies. <gasps> For me? Oh, Ruby, you shouldn't have. No, Iris. It's a welcome cake for the new neighbors. Say hello to them for me. 
Okay. Well, well. Our new neighbor, I shall call him Mr. Um. Let me see, Mr. Mm, Mr. Mumby Mumbo Mim, Mumbles. Yes, our Mr. Mumbles certainly has a lot of crates. Perhaps he's a crate salesman. Hmm. Mr. Mumbles certainly knows how to wield an axe. Perhaps he's a lumberjack. Mr. Mumbles certainly knows how to work a guillotine. <gasps> guillotine? <gasps> ah, Mr. Mumbles is obviously in the business of murder. Ah, I must alert the house. I wonder what Poe could want. I just brought him a snack 20 minutes ago. Here, Scaredy, some warm milk. Come the nerves. It is not working. We would need a bucket of this to calm these nerves. That's a great idea. The warm milk will help Poe get some rest. Oh, I'm on my way. What could possibly be keeping everyone? <gasps> More crates. Obviously containing further instruments of Mr. Mumble's evil trade. There's a crime practically in progress. Ah! I'm coming. I'm coming. Did I forget to mention to Ruby that I am most afraid of heights? Huh? Oh no! If the guillotine doesn't work... Oh, it appears Mr. Mumbles is going to pummel his victims with giant round things until he drops them in a huge pot of stew. Though it does make one wonder where he is going to find victims willing to enter this glass house of horror. No! Iris is about to be the first victim! Ah! Oh, is that a chocolate cake? Ah, focus, Poe! You must warm the house! Iris needs you! Danger! Danger! I wonder what could be keeping Scaredy Bat from reaching Poe? Oops. Poe must have fallen asleep. Poor little guy needs his rest. Has anyone seen my potato peeler? Ah! Oh, don't go inside, Iris. Whatever you do, do not go inside. Why does no one in this house ever listen to a word I say? If only there was someone I could dispatch. Someone who could take flight and rescue her on my behalf. Oh, hello, Edgar. No, there's no time to chat now. Iris is in trouble. Now, let's see. Who to get? Who to get? Oh! Well, what are you loafing around for, Edgar? You must fly over to the glass house and warn Iris. She's in danger most grave. Be my wings. Fly! Fly like the wind! It's a glass house, Edgar! That has to hurt. No, dear. Now Mr. Mumbles has sabotaged my only means of communication. Danger! Monsieur Skulls was right. Warm milk really calms frazzled nerves. Well, if you'll excuse me, I must return to the kitchen to get more milk. We'll never be able to eat all this. Maybe our new neighbor would like to join us for dinner. Fantastic! I will invite him to taste my sculinary masterpiece. While you're there, could you fetch Iris? You know how she's always getting distracted. On my way. What? <gasps> and Herbo! Oh, you monster! Poor Iris. No, not Skullboy, too! Hmm. 
Hmm. I never noticed what a big head he has before. I've already lost one friend to the evil Mr. Mumbles. I will not lose another! If no one will come to my aid, then I shall take matters into my own injured claws! No! Oh! Oh! No! I'm coming! Uh-oh. Whoa! Oh! I hope Poe is okay. Well, I'm sure he'd ring if he needed anything. Hey, Ruby, we're almost moved in. Yeah, we're totally looking forward to our welcome cake. Uh, th th that's great. Coming, Poe! Hey, cool sound. Yeah! Ow. Oh, never fear, Skullboy. Your friend Poe is coming. Uh, uh. Finally, where have you been? You must act fast. Skullboy is in grave danger. <laughs> this exact same thing happened to my cousin. She was so accident prone, they locked her in the attic and she went. Ooh -hoo. I'm not too. Come, I'll show you. No! Poor Skull Boy! His head is just too big! Hey, there's Alan! <gasps> no! You're going too fast! Watch out for the. Ugh. That has to hurt! Forget Alan! Something nefarious is afoot, and we must put a stop! <laughs> Ceilings. Sorry, Poe. You were saying something about some fairies or something? Not fairies. Nefarious. Mm, what's that mean? <clears throat> <coughs> Suffice it to say, it's really, really, really bad. Okay, we'll check it out. Who's with me? I'm in. Frank, I'll go. You stay. Len, that doesn't make any sense. I'm older. I don't care who goes. Just hurry. Ugh. That's it. Fear not, Iris and Skullboy. Help is on the way. What part of Nefarious didn't you understand? Scaredy Bat! Yes? You must help me get to the Glass House of Doom so I can save our friends from murder most foul. Fine, but we're leaving just as soon as you wake up. Oh my god! Are we there yet? How about now? Any closer? We are no further than the last 20 times you passed. Oh, foul the folly. If you want something done right, you must do it yourself. You may hurt yourself even worse. Well, I you see. No, oh, for pity's sake, we just have to get there. Did you eat more than usual today? <laughs> it is just as I feared. We are too late. <gasps> that is where Mr. Mumbles commits his terrible crimes. Time to put a stop to it. Once and for all, we must save our friends. You first. Friends is such a strong word. They're really more acquaintances. Hmm? Uh, age before beauty? <laughs> oh, must I do everything myself? <gasps> it's him! The more the merrier. Cool. We must be going under a tunnel. <laughs> what about the peril? The danger? 
Ninja. Oh, don't be a worry, work, Sonny. All the seats have cushions. You go, Derry. Oh, it's an amusement park. Yeah, I'm not amused. Hey, what say we try my latest ride? The slingshot of silliness. Ooh, I will have to pass on the... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad things are finally back to normal. And we'll all have a little peace and quiet for it. Let's get out of my room. But there's lots of space for all us roomies. You're not my roomies. I'm on it. <sighs> Lessons in being a ghost part one. Scare tactics. Ah! Boo! Hey, Boo Boo. Oh. <sighs> oh. Night, Boo Boo. Oh, Peroni. Sleep tight, Boo Boo. They make the perfect pair. Oh. <sighs>